Mr. Harry Winks. Tubes, you good? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, not bad, thanks. All good. And yourself? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad at all, thank you. Um, we are going to create your perfect midfielder. So I'm yeah. going to give you some areas of the game, and you can pick one player, past or present, for each category. You can't pick the same player twice. Fine. OK. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. I'd have Paul Scholes. I mean, he's... His passing, his range was uh, was incredible. We could play long passes, short passes. He's, he was, uh, yeah, just a, a top player. He had it all, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I mean, just at that sort of, I was at that age where he was just sort of in his prime as well. So it was, um, he was someone I definitely looked up to. Someone who I, yeah, would love to have sort of had that passing ability of, and you know, with similar stature as well. He was someone that I kind of uh, tried to model my game off slightly. Uh, oh, I'd have the strength for, I'd say, Moussa Dembele. I mean, I had the, the pleasure of being able to, 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 <laughs> to play and train with him for many years, and he was, yeah, the strongest player I've ever, I've ever come across. You know, I've never seen him, never seen him get weight, never seen him get get put off the ball by anyone. He, he was, yeah, not only a top player but, but stronger than Ox as well. Every time we did a teammates or spoke to Tottenham players when he was at the club, they just went best player, Dembele, straight away. Yeah, you know, he was, he was, he was, he was class. He really was. And I think he was underrated more than anything. I think he was a top player, and, and um, I think now everybody realises just how good he was. Probably uh, Kante. <laughs> he just, um, yeah, he's someone. He's a joke, isn't he? A joke. He, he is. He's, he, I mean, he's a, he's a top player. He really, he's, since he's come to England, he's been fantastic, and he's. Um, he, I mean, I've seen playing against him as well. He's someone who doesn't ever give you a yard's break, uh, yards, you know, space or, or a little bit of breath at all. He's, he's constantly on you, but he is a top player. Really. He's there, he's there, and he's there, and then he's not right, is he? <laughs> he's just, he's just super fit. I mean, he's, he's a top. He's like I said, he's a, he's a great player. You know, especially when you play against him, you're thinking last 15 minutes, 20 minutes of the game, he's going to blow up, and you think hopefully, you know, he's going to give you a bit of a breather here, but he's, he's, he's going on it just like he was in the first minute, so he doesn't, he doesn't stop playing here. Yeah, I mean, he's a fantastic player. I'd say between, there's, there's, a, there's probably between two, two of them, you know, between Perlo, I think he was, he was top, you know, intelligent, potential player, and uh, Xavi, between the, between the two of them, I think they both just, they made their game look so easy, and, you know, in every situation they played, in every match they played in, you know, whether it was a, whether it was a World Cup final or an important game for their club or, you know, what, like, they always made it look so simple and I think that's, that's you know, credit to not only their ability but their, their playing as well. What about Perlo's little dinky penalty? Yeah, I mean, that just, that says it all, you know, the class of the guy is, 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 is crazy. Um, it's a tough one. Tough one. I don't I really know loads of midfielders that have loads of pace, but I think I remember I remember back in the day in his early ages, in his, in his early years, Kaka was was quite a probably not rapid, I wouldn't say he was rapid, but he was quite, you know, he had like long strides, he's quite leggy and you know, was, he managed to get away from his opponent so well with it. And you know, not only did he have such amazing skill and technique, but he had that kind of pace to be able to get away from him as well. Leadership, I'd say Steven Gerrard. I mean, he's just uh, obviously he's been a he's been a legend at Liverpool for and rightly so for many years. But um, I think just his leadership, especially in the in the Champions League final, you know, everybody remembers it so fondly when when he basically you know helped Liverpool come back and, and win it, and, uh, and that just shows you know just what kind of, of a leader he really was. And to go and captain England as well says says it all. I think mean, it has to be Frank Lampard. I think he's. You know, his goal scoring record for, for Chelsea is second to none. You know, it's, incre it's incredible. And, you know, to do it from the field and to, to, and to do it in the manner in which he done it as well. You know, he's, he scored from outside the box, long range, short range, uh, headers, you know, he had everything. And he was, um, yeah, he, he's somebody that he's, his goal scoring you know, record is, he speaks for itself. I've got to say, Harry, that's uh, one hell of a midfielder you've built there. It's been nice to have all those qualities in yourself, that's for sure. Harry, great to see you, mate, and good to see you. Hope to see you back on the pitch soon. Cheers, thanks very much. Cheers. Thanks.